April 20th. Can a saint slander God? For all the promises of God in him are ye, and in him, amen. 2 Corinthians one twenty. Jesus told the parable of the talents recorded in Matthew 25 as a warning that it is possible for us to misjudge our capacity. This parable has not to do with natural gifts, but with the Pentecostal gift of the Holy Ghost. We must not measure our spiritual capacity by education or by intellect. Our capacity in spiritual things is measured by the promises of God. If we get less than God wants us to have, before long we will slander him, as the servant slandered his master. You expect more than you give me the power to do. You demand too much of me. I cannot stand true to you where I am placed. When it is a question of God's Almighty Spirit, never say, I can't. Never let the limitation of natural ability come in. If we have received the Holy Spirit, God expects the work of the Holy Spirit to be manifested in us. The servant justified himself in everything he did, and condemned his Lord on every point. Your demand is all out of proportion to what you give. Have we been slandering God by daring to worry when he has said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you? Worrying means exactly what this servant implied. I haven't had a decent chance, and the one who is lazy spiritually is capitious with God. Lazy people always strike out on an independent line. Never forget that our capacity in spiritual matters is measured by the promises of God. Is God able to fulfill his promises? Our answer depends on whether we have received the Holy Spirit.